Good morning once again. I hadn't intended on making another video uh, anytime soon, but I was asked a question. How do you know God is real? Now, I've been doing a lot of talking about God, but that's what I do. Uh, every morning, uh, people from all over the world join me, and we have a 10-minute Bible study. Um... After considering that, I'm 75, and there's been a lot of times in my life, or several times in my life, that things have happened to me that proved that God was real. But I'm going to relate to you today one instance that should let you know why I know that God is real. My first wife died of cancer. I nursed her for eight years. She contacted this illness when she was 31. We had four children at the time and two businesses at the time. And after her surgery and her time in the hospital, we lost everything. She came home to an army cot and an old black and white TV, and that was all. I lost a construction business, all the equipment, and in 1973 I started over in my working life for two dollars and fifty cents an hour. Previously her and I together had been making somewhere around a thousand dollars a week. Time went on, and I took two jobs. And during that time, I was fighting what you now call child services to keep my children because our living conditions weren't, shall I say, the greatest. And every night, I picked up the Bible and read. And when I went to bed, I knelt every night and prayed and it was a time of hardship for us for the whole family for me quite frankly it was hard on my pride it was hard on my ego because I had a responsibility and I didn't see that I was fulfilling it too well and I recall putting a note on my mirror in our bedroom that said a man stands as tall as he can every day. Anyway, one night I was on my knees praying the Lord's Prayer and I got just to a certain point in this prayer and my mind absolutely locked up. And it felt like I was being lifted off of the floor, maybe a foot, 18 inches. And it frightened me. And then I looked up and for the first and only time in my life, I began speaking in tongue. It was like I had a direct line to heaven. And I was answering. And it was like I had a direct line to heaven. And when that was over, the next word out of my mouth was the following word of the Lord's Prayer. That's how I know that there's a God. Now that's just me. This is the Bible. Now every person has to know in their own heart, by faith, by the Word of God, whether or not God is real. I would suggest that you read the Bible from cover to cover. And then ask yourself that same question. How do I know God is real? And quite frankly, the simple answer is faith. So that's my story. That's how I know that God is real. I love you guys. You're welcome to challenge anything I say. I will never waver, ever waver in my belief in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I love you. 
Have a great day.